Hi guys, I always thought pedometers are pretty much useless bit of kit uh, and um, counting uh, steps is like pretty much means nothing. Just use your phone and use something like Strava or Endemondo to, to measure your sport performance. But once in dollar store I saw this thing for four dollars and decided to well, let's take a look what's inside. Maybe there's something interesting. And another thing which actually got me um, hooked up and buy this for four Canadian dollars in a Canadian dollar store is it has phone connectivity. So that means it has some sort of Bluetooth stuff. I hope. <laughs> um, so it has 3D accelerometer. Uh, that doesn't really say anything about Bluetooth. Maybe actually I am over uh over kind of made something in my mind well let's take a look doesn't say anything about bluetooth i think i'm screwed actually here um when i just uh, paid close attention i guess you just measure your the, the steps or whatever calories they count and you just manually enter them in your app yeah anyways but beside that let's just take a look and uh, see what's inside and how this thing works first of all okay so we have this nice clamshell packaging here which actually looks decent believe me or not so let's uh, just pop this open already ripping apart gee like even packaging okay this goes away i love this kind of package just like split open good to go nice go away so user manual who cares it's oh look at that it's actually decent for the for the product like that yeah there is no bluetooth here that was my um, imagination okay here is pedometer itself so it looks like a wristband and it has it's rubbery it's actually not too bad let's look big in chunk here which is nice too there is a ah i see it. so there is a, like some sort of well like i don't really probably need to have uh, work too much to open this thing it's just a latch over here screen button here two buttons over here so it's perfect totally perfect thing i bet it's gonna have some sort of battery inside if if they actually develop this latch over here okay i'm gonna zoom um, in a bit just to have a better look okay so uh, let's get this thing open and see how it works and what's inside so obviously this thing has some sort of battery inside and this time is um cr 2032 and let's understand it's dead because this thing doesn't oh it is power up this powered up says zero it's kind of doing something but it's barely visible over there yeah i don't know if you can even see the zero over here one this does something oh, i've already counted a step Anyways, hmm, it works, but looks pretty bad. Wondering if this thing has the backlight of some sort. Nope, it doesn't. Hmm, yeah, well, useless. From this perspective, useless. Let's pull this battery out. Out, I said. Unless battery is so dead, it's not. Okay, and there we have, oh, look at this. Actually, I thought this thing is not waterproofish, but there is a, like a O-ring over here and it may be like make it slightly waterproof-ish or something. Huh, cool, no, it's it look better than I thought. Okay, let's quickly open this up for self-toppers. Curious if there is an O-ring around that um, lid over here or the, the back back cover i don't know if you're gonna see anything cool and uh, but i'm really hoping we'll see something cool mm, bunch of soft toppers curious oh, yeah, i can lift it now let's see if there's any o-ring over here yeah there is some rubbery stuff around this it's kind of glued to the case okay well that's promising 
So this thing might be waterproof in a way or water tight or something. Okay, four more screws over here. Have to hold those straps because they are flopping and uh, interfering with. Uh... So if you actually just notice, there are a few uh, tops over here and uh, they seems like stating OP1, OP2, OP3. So I guess you can solder those things to actually turn different options on and off. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. the two buttons over here, it says up and down. Here we are. And there is one more button over here. And what do we have here? All right. This is stupid. Okay, we have a blob <laughs> and a chip and another chip. Cool, so blob obviously is some sort of microcontroller. Thank you very much, charger. You done? Yeah, uh, we're just charging my LiPo battery, so it's a turnity charger beeping. Didn't realize it's gonna be that, that quick. All right, so what do we have here? So we have a zebra strip over here uh, to interface with the LCD screen. We also have two wires coming in there. So I assume this thing's supposed to have some sort of backlight. Otherwise, I do not understand why two wires are going that way. Um, we have, oh my God, this drop is in the way. We have also, um, all right, so I zoomed in a little bit uh, more to see better. So what we have here, a blob. Uh, this blob, obviously some sort of microcontroller and display controller, uh, LCD controller, I mean, and nothing would be known about it because it's all potted and pff, forget it. So, but we know more about these two. So this guy is um, to one kilobyte serial uh, ROM, so it's obviously require uh, to remember uh, all uh, operational stuff for this uh, for this uh, microcontroller. But again, this is completely useless for us. This is ROM is probably once pre-programmed, it cannot be reused for anything else. But this guy over here, this uh, BGA package of some sort, is a KXCJK um, triple axis accelerometer from Kionix. So this is not the, uh, it's probably the most expensive part over here because apparently I just checked the price and it costs like uh, 225 in, uh, in $2.25 or something like that in thousands. So, or, uh, yeah, a couple hundred. So this, that's the most expensive part over here of all this thing out of this $4. Uh, and, um, it's not the worst accelerometer you can get. It's um, it, it has I square C interface and blah blah. So technically, this guy can be used for something. But again, this is not. Yeah, I don't know. If we're gonna be resoldering uh, anything from here again. And I paid four dollars for all of this, so it doesn't really make much sense. But anyways, especially without Bluetooth. Uh, so this is my, most, the most interesting part over here. So at the end of story, what is uh, digital pedometer? Digital pedometer is a controller which actually counts uh, specific um, uh, spe specific changes in acceleration, and it will be uh, interpreted as steps. So this digital uh, accelerometer would uh, provide. Um, acceleration information for the microcontroller. Microcontroller probably have some sort of thresholding, filtering, and things like that. And when they des it decide that this is, seems like a valid step, it would count it as a step. And then it just you know providing your some sort of weight and height and age and things like that ratios. It would be able to more or less calculate based on some sort of coefficients your uh, calories, and that pretty much it. The only thing it may also track its time of a day, I guess, because it, it it looks totally look like a real time clock over here. This little crystal. So potentially this thing have ability to actually also um, track your uh, 
uh, calories per day and time a day and things like that. Uh, I believe this pretty much editing can possibly do. Uh, so it was useless in terms of like okay, if you can reuse anything out of it, maybe we can reuse this case for something. But let's doesn't I don't have anything in my mind. And this sound like uh, was a waste of money and end of story. But it was useful experiment ex or, or experience because we figured out that how pedometer uh, works and also how it looks inside and we see this is pretty simple and straightforward device thank you guys for watching and see ya next time